Hi guys, welcome. If you're like me and you've had some problem with the onboard GT bamboo battery, stick around and I'll show you how to replace the BMS. If the BMS is not your problem, you can check out the other video on my channel where I'll show you how to salvage two battery packs to create one working pack. This is the onboard bamboo battery. As you can see, here is the computer, the ESC. This is the BMS. Uh, this is the part I think that's broken. Uh, when I measure it before the BMS, it's 41 volts, and after it's 27. So I've bought on AliExpress the the BMS. It's a uh, 60 60 amps uh, separate port charger, just just like uh, just like this one. With the BMS, came some instructions. So we're gonna go through the steps backwards. Also in the box is the balance wires, balance leads. Be careful when mounting them. You cannot use the part from um, on board because actually the wires are upside down or they're uh, in reverse. You see, the black wire here is on the other side. So you cannot use this connector. You need to use this one. So we're gonna rewire it while we uh, cut the wires. So they told me on the list to remove the charge wire first. Snip. Then we have to remove the positive wire. We're gonna go ahead and snip the second one. I'm gonna keep snipping and keep numbering. Be right back. Right, so we have all our wires cut. I'm also gonna cut the temperature meter. We're not gonna use it anymore. Snippity snip. Now the last step is to disconnect this one. Let's cut it as far away as possible. And let's tape this one as well. The last step is to snip off this one. Now the BMS is fully removed. For this purpose, I'm not gonna get the BMS out. It's too stuck in here, as you can see. I have a heat gun, I tried it, it's, it's really stuck, it's not worth it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna glue the contacts together using a hot glue gun. There we go. Now, let that just dry for, uh, for a second or two. Okay, so next we're gonna check uh, with a multimeter, the different voltages of each cell compartment to see if it's okay. We're gonna start with our lead, that's our negative, and then we're gonna take the one that was closest next to it, and I'm gonna expose this one. I'm gonna strip a little of the top, there we go, and I'm gonna twist it up. Cool. We're gonna do the same with the negative lead. So now we're gonna do the negative. 4.12. Make sure to measure all the wires individually before actually starting to solder all this together. When placing the BMS, it's a bit too wide to put it in here. There's actually space in here. If we lift this one up, turn it a quarter, make sure the uh, electrical conductors are too the outer side of the board. Just put it in this way. There was a bit of hot glue here, which I removed. You see the plastic, it, it gives a bit, it, uh, it stretches. So you put it in real tight. You pull the plastic and you can see, you can push in the ESC. It's really tight, it's really good. Um, if you want, if you have the tools for it, you can slide it down a bit, um, sand it down a bit maybe, so it, it it's not snug and you can tape it in place or something. Now there's exactly enough room for the BMS. You just put it in over the ledge, slide it down, here it is. Now we're gonna start measuring out um, how it's supposed to go. So I'll just put it inside as a placeholder, there's it. And I'm gonna, gonna pull, plug it in. Before we start the solder, uh, we need to do some uh, shrink wrap around these. 
So when they're done, when they're soldered, we just uh, shrink wrap them together. I got a couple of AliExpress, so let me check. Yeah, perfect. Let's snip some. Right, so now actually it's rinse and repeat. I'll be back to you when I'm done soldering and putting the heat shrinks around. Like you can see, I've done all the wiring. It's a different day now, different, different kind of lightning. They're all connected to the BMS wires. Uh, you can put this aside, I've measured it all. All the voltages are correct. So what you should do is take your multimeter before you plug it in. Take it, you put it on, uh, on 200. I'll turn it around for you guys. Is the first little hole next to it. Don't careful to not short it out. It should say four. And it should go all the way up to 41 approximately. So now we know they're all perfectly wired. Right, now we're gonna connect the B negative to the um, negative part of the battery. Right, because this is actually a bit too short. I've gone ahead and um, got some wire from another battery. So I'm gonna wire this in between the two. All right, so the B negative is connected to the BMS. And then plug the wires into the BMS. Just make sure the white lines are on top. Plug it in. That's no, okay. Now we can already measure the out with the positive. And this should read 41 volts. It means we've connected everything correctly. We're just gonna connect the P positive to this wire. P positive is connected to the P minus. Now I didn't do the, the shrinking wraps yet. I just wanna make sure and check the battery works. So right now the moment of truth, we're just gonna temporarily put in the ESC over here so we can plug in the on off button and we're gonna plug it in. Little spark, that's normal. There we go. Should be connected, so let's test. I'm gonna turn on the remote. Disconnected, I'm gonna power on the battery. We're connected, up and running. Let's heat shrink everything together. Now we still have one wire to go, and it's the um, charging cable. I'm checking it for length. Let me take a cable. I have took another black wire to lead these two up. There we go, that's it. So we're gonna test if the battery will charge. Light green. Red. It's charging. We got some tape. We're gonna double side tape this to the bottom. So I put one here. Also gonna put a piece of tape under the ESC. Let's connect these two up. This is a kind of short fit, but it works. So you just have to make sure that you hot glue it on because otherwise the, uh, the vibrations might get it out. So this is the final order of the cables. Um, it was a puzzle. Let's uh, flip it around. Right, this is it. It's fully mounted. Uh, let's give it a last quick test. Lights turn on. Remote turns on. Connected. <laughs> Right guys, that's the onboard bamboo battery fixed. Big thumbs up. If you found this video informative or if it helped to repair your bamboo battery, please leave a like below or even subscribe. 
If you have any questions, you can put them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. Peace.